Recording? Yes. All right, I see the red light, good. So we're gonna do, we got some food here, but we're gonna do one more uh, beer first. Um, we did some ciders, we wanna kinda transition it back to beer. So uh, this is the Flying, Fi Flying Fish is a brewer out of New Jersey. It says proudly brewed in New Jersey, okay. Uh, Flying Fish Brewing Company. This is their exit for American Triple. This is their most popular beer. They're, all their all their beers are named after exits on the New Jersey Turnpike, which is kind of cool. I, I like it. I think that's a cool little gimmick. Uh, it says here, this hoppy Belgian-style triple has a hazy golden hue, aroma of citrus, hints of banana and clove with rich malt character, followed by a subdued bitterness in the finish. Uh, Everybody has a subdued bitterness in the finish. Though. Oh, Jesus. So, brewed and bottled by Flying Fish Brewing Company, Summerdale, New Jersey. It's 9.5% alcohol by the way. Really? Cool. It's a triple. Oh, well, that makes sense then. So, what's your, been your favorite drink today? McKenzie's? Yeah, the McKenzie cider, I think. Um, let's see, all, the, all of them are up there. I think, you know what's funny? I think beer wise, I think it was the Yard's Cape of Good Hope. That one was uh, good. I really, really like that. I thought that was a fantastic IPA. Um, this doesn't smell as triply as I hoped it would. But... It doesn't smell like yeasty or anything? Right. Normally triply, triples are like yeasty and like a lot of fruity, you know, things going on. Mm-hmm. good yeah yeah it kind of tastes like New Jersey in a bottle I mean <laughs> that was pretty why are you so low I is the lighting good it can't it be. was from over here mm -hmm. good right here that, that is pretty good um it's kind of cool they have on the flying fish uh, they have on the little label thing their logo is a fish with like propellers as as its wings or yeah yeah you just look you'll see yeah that's cool so I like it um, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna formulate my thoughts here and uh, let you take a taste test if it's too zoomed in I can zoom out no problem I zoomed out it's okay that is cool. that one I like it too it it's not really taste like a triple though. it doesn't really taste like a triple but uh, it's um it's very uh, drinkable it is very drinkable I will give you that hmm. pleasantly surprised by that one yeah it is good it's it's just not it's what just I not expected a it's I mean I mean it, it doesn't taste like a triple no it it, it has it's not like, I mean, even the color is slightly different than normally a triple is a little more hazy than that. Uh -huh. That's almost, that's very easily see through. That almost looks like a golden ale of some sort. Um, just because I don't think it really tastes like a triple, I'll probably give it like a seven. But as far as flavor goes, you like the flavor. No, yeah, I like it. I, I It's just a lower rating because I don't think that it, uh, it's not like, a lot of the triples that we've had. Yeah, so. and we haven't we haven't even had like a lot of Belgian actual Belgian triples. We've done a lot of Belgian style triples that are you know are from the U.S. But yeah, this one is it, it is different. Uh, I I agree with you. I think a seven is a fair rating on this because mm -hmm. it is good, no doubt about it. It's it, good. Yeah. Um. I don't know what would make it better. Maybe if it was more. It a little more yeasty. It's too. Yeah. As it is, it's too. I like it. Mundane though. as far as it's not like uh it there should be just more yeast like flavors going on, I think. Mm -hmm. And I'm just giving everybody a quick little view of the lake on a nice summer evening. The brews we've had thus far. Anyway, it's two sevens on that one, yeah. Yeah. We got food. The food will be next. Has been the flying fish exit four American triple. Join us again.